A side-by-side -side bar graph is just what you think. It's a bar graph, but it has multiple categories or groups displayed side-by-side -side in adjacent bars. So adjacent means side-by-side -side on the same horizontal axis. Now, technically, they can be vertical. You can tilt the whole graph 90 degrees and make it come out to the right or to the left. Um, but most of the ones in our book are vertical, which is fine. So this allows data sets to be compared. Ah, that's the reason we're doing it, because we can compare data, right? So in the fact that they're side by side allows that comparison. Right, makes it easier, or I was writing eases, making comparisons. Now, the most frequently compared are relative frequencies because that way if they have different population sizes, it's fair to make the comparisons. Using frequencies is often difficult or misleading. So um, just be aware that we are usually doing relative frequencies. However, this particular example is not. <laughs> this particular example is using frequencies. So um, just keep that in mind. All right, so the following side-by-side -side graph shows the average accumulated lifetime earnings for people in the USA born from 1950 to 1954 by gender and race ethnicity. And yes, this is real data. Um, these are real data. This came from real studies. And this is frequency in a weird sense because the frequency is the count in terms of millions of dollars. So one of the first things it's going to ask you is what does this graph reveal about the difference in lifetimes earnings between race and ethnicities? So you can see here for men, here's the white men, here's black men, and here's Hispanic men right there. So those are the three categories. And you can see there's a huge disparity in lifetime earnings. This is the amount of money you earn over the course of your lifetime. And then over here we have white women, black women, and Hispanic women. All right, so what does this reveal? Well, just look at the difference. When they're talking about race and ethnicities, they're talking about the difference between these three groups for both men and for women, right? So in both groups, men and women, white out earns black and Hispanic. So let's talk about that. So when we're doing this one, we're comparing um, the three colors, the and I, don't, I mean the three colors of bars, the blue, the pink, and the kind of gray. We're comparing those three bars for men and then comparing those three bars for women. So when we do that, we can see white men earn more than black men or Hispanic men. And these are categories um, based on actually census data. So they ask you to check the box for which part um, or which race ethnicity you identify yourself as, right? And then similarly, white women earn more than black women or Hispanic women. The largest disparity visually appears to be right here, from white men to black men right there. That's a very large gap. That's a gap of $0.9 million, right? So we can say that as well. The largest gap is $0.9 million. It's white men at $2.7 million minus black men. At 1.8 million, which is 0.9 million dollars difference, right? Almost a million dollars difference in their lifetimes. Now there's disparities in these other groups as well, but it's not as large as that. So for women to women, it's 0.2 million, 0.2 million, and then from white men to Hispanic men, it's 0.7 million. So the largest gap, right? The largest gap among the race ethnicity. Me, yeah, among the race ethnicity is from white men to black men, which is 0.9 million dollar difference. All right, now what about 
between the genders. So this is going to have us compare, if you will, from one side to the other. So you look over here, white men to white women, black men to black women, and Hispanic men to Hispanic women. And the first thing that pops out at you is men earn a lot more than women, right? So that is definitely true. All right. So we can see that men earn a lot more money in their lifetimes. than women. All right, where's the largest gap? So the largest gap is again, white, actually. So white men minus white women, that's $1.2 million, as opposed to black men to black women is $0.5 million. And then to, um, Hispanic men to Hispanic women is $0.9 million. So the largest gap is white men minus white women, which is 2.7 minus 1.5, which is $1.2 million difference. Now, of course, if you want to cross race ethnicities, then of course, you know, 2.7 minus 1.1 would be a very large one as well. But that wouldn't really, that's not really what we're doing. So you either compare these three to each other, right? That's the top one. So um, let me see if I can. So when you compare these three to each other and these three to each other, that comparison is for A, right? So A is that comparison, right? When you're doing that comparison down here. And then for the letter B, it's more you're looking at the blue bar to the blue bar, right? So you're comparing this bar to this bar. Then you're comparing, I'm running out of colors here, uh, pink to pink. Oh, I even have pink. Haha. <laughs> so pink to pink. And then, ooh, I've got purple. Purple to purple. That's what you're doing, right? So that's letter B. So letter B is comparing these two blue bars, these two pink bars, and those two, well, they're gray bars, but I did them as purple. And here, just to make it so the color coding works, I'll do this in blue. There, that's blue, and that's blue. Blue now, okay? <laughs> it's like a greenish blue. All right, so when you compare the white women and the white men, that blue to blue is the largest gap, right? The pink to pink is only, um, so for black men, minus black women, that was only uh, 0.5 million, which was actually the smallest gap. And then um, I'll do them in purple, the Hispanic, here we go, Hispanic men, minus Hispanic women. Oh my goodness, I lost the word woman there. Hispanic women, women that was 0.9 million. So they're large, right? You can see the men are always earning more than the women. I got to put women right in here. But the largest one by significant amount is the white men minus white women right here. That's the largest gap. And all of that can be told rather quickly from a side-by-side -side bar graph. Side-by-side -side bar graphs are really great for being able to compare within a group and then across groups like this. So being able to make two different types of comparisons, it's really lovely and can be very powerful.